Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU calls for deeper US emissions cut to spur climate talks Is Blair making a bid for EU presidency? EU secures cheese deal for Bristol farmer to start producing halloumi a European Union dream threatened by austerity and disharmony plus BBC is downgrading Cameron's referendum pledge. Now, I hope you're enjoying the new shorter format. Please do write in or comment to tell us what you think. It's Wednesday, the 11th of June. I'm delighted you can join me. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, the top story from our homepage. The EU calls for deeper US emissions cut to spur climate talks. The European Union said the United States must do more to reduce greenhouse gas emissions if it's to keep talks on limiting global warming on track. The Environmental Protection Agency in Washington calls on existing power plants to reduce fossil fuel pollution by 30% from 2005 levels by 2030. It's the most comprehensive climate protection plan yet from Obama's administration. Is Blair making a bid for EU presidency? Tony Blair has launched a staunch defence of the European Union. Amid growing speculation, he is planning a fresh bid to become president of Europe. The former Prime Minister will use a speech to the CBI in London to underline his pro-EU credentials and make the case for Britain's deeper involvement in Europe. The intervention comes just days after he held private talks with German Chancellor Angela Merkel about how to tackle the growing tide of Euroscepticism across Europe. EU secures cheese deal for Bristol farmer to start producing halloumi. A North Somerset farmer is set to realise his ambition to start producing halloumi cheese after successfully securing funding from the European Union. Michael, Michael of Haberfield Park Farm at Abbotsley near Bristol has been awarded a grant worth hundreds of thousands of pounds to help kickstart his Carpezia dairy project, according to local MP Dr Liam Fox. I abandoned trying to find a cheeky comment to prop up this story. I couldn't think of anything that wasn't cheesy. European Union dream threatened by austerity and disharmony. As the Eurozone heads from crisis to critical meltdown, this article asks the question, why have the wheels come off? Generally accepted as the founding fathers of Europe, Monet and Schumann, with their vision for a Europe of peace and prosperity, this article digs into what has gone wrong and why. Now, as you know, here at the unit, we have no political axe to grind. Our position is clear and simple. Let the people decide. Of course, that in itself beholds us to opposition, opposing a system which stifles the people and removes their right to govern themselves. BBC is downgrading Cameron's referendum pledge. Ian Duncan Smith has said the BBC is systematically downgrading David Cameron's pledge to hold a referendum on Britain's membership of the European Union, leaving most voters ignorant of the Prime Minister's radical plans. In the interview, he signalled that if Mr Cameron failed to get a good deal, he will be ready to vote to leave the EU as Britain can prosper outside the European club. Now... Leading the poll for the next topic to get coverage from the learned panel in our table talk show is this very question. Will David Cameron really offer a referendum? Now, our next show will take place live simultaneously on our website, YouTube channel and Google Plus Hangouts on air at 3pm UK time. That's 1400 GMT on Thursday, the 17th of June. Today in our video library, our short film documentary Betrayed has now cracked the 10,000 views mark on YouTube. Now, here is one of the latest comments from Baz Baraklouf on YouTube. He says, Recently I looked back at some of my many posts regarding UKIP and particularly the European Union. I reflected that I was starting to sound like a ranter and whether it was all quite justified. This presentation put it all into perspective. I have been rather mild and contained when presented with the facts in this YouTube clip. Well, thanks, Baz, and please, folks, do keep commenting. We really do appreciate it. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.